I'm going to show you how to take an anchor chart or other PDF and insert it in a Google slide with it secured to the background so the students can't move it around and they can add things on top of it, add text boxes, shapes, etc. So what you're going to do, I have a PDF open. This is from Lucky Little Learner's Lucky Little Toolkit. This is the addition strategies. So I want to add this to a Google slide so my students can circle which strategy they're using when they're doing their addition facts, where they can look at it and reference it as they work. So what I'm going to do is open the PDF and zoom so that I can see the whole page at the same time. Then I'm going to get a screenshot, which on a Mac is you're holding down Command, Shift, and 4 at the same time, and you get this little plus sign, and you're going to drag it around the whole page. And when you let go, it will take a screenshot of that section. See that little orange dot in the corner? Yours won't have that because I'm screen recording. That's why it's showing that, but yours won't have that. So then you let go when you have it the way you like. It takes a screenshot, and then you're going to go into your Google Drive. Okay, so I'm going to go into my Google Drive. Too many windows open all the time. <laughs> and I'm, you're going to push new, Google slide. And then after you open a new Google slide, we need to change the, page, the size of the page because this is not going to work for us. So you're going to name your presentation so you don't forget where it is. Addition and subtraction. And then I'm going to go to File, we're going to go to Page Setup, whoops, clicked on the wrong thing here, File, Page Setup, and then right here we're going to go to Custom, and you're going to change it to a page, um, the 8.5 by 11, so we're going to do 8.5 by 11, and then Apply, and then you can see it changes the um, size of your page. So we're going to get rid of these text boxes. We don't need those. And then the way you get your um, image that you screenshot in there is you're going to click this background button. And you're going to choose image and then you're going to find where it saved that screenshot. Typically it saves it to the desktop. Um, I have a screenshot folder it saves mine to. So I'm going to find the screenshot I just took and push open and then it's going to save that to the background of the slide. So you can see now when I click on here, I can't move anything anywhere. I can't drag these any of these shapes around, but I can add things on top. So if I want students to circle, you can add some shapes on the side or text boxes on the side if you want. Um, you could say circle the strategy you use the most today in your math worksheet. So you can have them add a circle, um, you can have them, you know, add a text box over here or on top um, and type. So that's how you add a anchor chart or PDF as the background to a Google slide.